Hello everybody my name is Directrex and welcome to episode 8 of Let's build a zoo in Minecraft. In the last episode we worked on building the tortoise enclosure over here as you can see and have been doing some stuff I have been doing some stuff but first we have three comments for today which I'll be featuring uh the first one told me to do a crocodile exhibit which we are going to be doing today the comment was by uh Sat Satura I, I I swear if I butcher that name I'm sorry but thanks for the uh suggestion of building the crocodile exhibit that's what we're going to be doing today the next one was from Fat Try which uh who said do a gift shop with animal souvenirs uh and stuff like that which was a cool idea and i thought maybe we could make a toy shop uh, i'm not sure if this classifies as a i mean i guess i mean i guess it classifies as a gift shop with animal souvenirs and stuff like that but yeah i made a toy shop and then we have another comment three comments uh and this is from that otter girl who commented uh they who commented it's a very long comment with uh, a very cool suggestion of adding a waterfall for the otters which i'm planning on doing but i don't know how i will do it so i need some more time uh but they gave a suggestion that i should name one of the otters melia which we will be doing at the end of the episode so stay tuned for that so i'll just show you guys what i did in the uh, toy shop over here now this is such a weird thing i did i don't think this looks like a toy shop it looks like a weird modern build or something like that so i don't i don't know what i'm going to do and yep as always the the volume is low Uh but yeah this is the entrance as you can see toy store uh and i've added some weird trees i guess you can call it i don't know what to call this but i thought we should add this and we have some flowers i decided to add these flowers around the zoo to make the place look a lot more better and i also added this weird weird plants bucket like thing so you know it, it's just to show we are nature friendly as well But once you get inside over here, we have two people. This is actually from the uh, the white creatures add-on. These guys are zookeepers, but I thought you know what? They can also manage the toy store. So we still don't have names for these two guys, as well as the ticket booth guys. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave it down in the comment section below. And they also have these cool animations, which is very nice. So that's cool. And you guys may be thinking, wait a minute. What is all this? This looks so weird. These actually look like toys and yeah, they are toys. Wait, what happened to my voice? Oh my god, give me a second. <clears throat> yes, they are toys. Uh but the but no, <laughs> I'm confused. But these are plushies. This is from the uh plushy add on which i will leave in the description so you guys can download it so we have white creatures and plushy add on in this world and i think this is amazing i thought we would do like small desks or shelf where we can keep the toy and you know people can come and buy it uh, in the first floor there's also a second floor we have uh, dolphins we have foxes we have wither withers are like you know the limited edition kind of stuff so i thought that could be cool uh and this is where you're supposed to pay the money and get your toy so yeah there's that i also thought adding carpets would look cool so yeah this is the uh the first floor but then if you go to the second floor oh my okay no 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 If you go to the second floor, oh my god. Yes, this is uh, this is second floor. We have some more limited editions, uh, limited edition plushies over here as you can see. We have the Ender Dragon plushies. This is an amazing add-on which looks awesome and these don't replace anything in the game. These guys are its own entities. So you guys can, you know, use the normal items in game and also use this. We have some panda plushies, we have some dog plushies, then we also have some cat plushies we have llama plushies we have pufferfish plushies 
you know you you should you know how you know puffer the puffer fish is very important because of the meme which recently popped up or was it recently i don't know uh, but yeah we have also have some parrot plushies and stuff like that and i think this looks really really nice i also did this weird lamp like thing with uh, ender dragon egg and uh, whatever this thing is called enrods yes there we go so yeah i think this turned out well and by the way this is like indicating what toys or plushies are over here and stuff like that i thought you know we should also have some flower pots and stuff like that so yeah that's the idea this is like kind of an art wall like thing i don't know what i was going for but yeah what do you guys think it does this look good you know if i need do i need to improve on something leave it down in the comment section below and as you can see it spells or uh, spells out toys over here we also have this cool glass door over here which i thought looks amazing uh the next thing that we're going to be doing today is finally getting into the crocodile enclosure now you guys may be thinking oh wait this whole entire thing looks so weird what are you up to uh let me explain so after you see the tortoise you go over here now this is zoo uh it's kind of far from where i live but there's a zoo which i go which i went to and they have this big bridge like thing and when you look down there are crocodiles and you know uh, like because like you can see the crocodiles so well even if they are swimming or on land they usually on land because you know why not and they look like rocks they the real life crocodile look like rocks they look like they're dead but in reality they're just so so still i was confused if, if they were dead or alive and that was amazing so yeah i've also added barrier blocks because you know although although we are the only people in the zoo i don't want kids falling off into the crocodile enclosure that wouldn't be good and i also added this extra path over here which uh, goes over here which is staff only do not enter which we are doing to the to all the enclosures and i tried adding iron bars instead of glass but i thought you know it's fine i think it's too much iron bars and stuff so yeah i think this looks nice and i think we should just start with building the enclosure finally and i don't know why i'm steve i just realized that and after building the crocodile enclosure we will get to building we you know we won't get to building anything we will name the otter uh so first of all let's see the crocodile right let's see the crocodile uh we have gray ga gavial crocodile we also have a normal crocodile now in for this episode i'll be doing normal crocodile but i'm planning on adding the other uh, crocodile species over here and i think that would turn out really, really well like the whole crocodile thing and stuff like that and i also added this small archway over here i thought this looked cool i know i'm talking too much instead of building it but yeah uh, but yeah let's see the crocodile how it looks and then i'm going to kill it obviously uh boom so this is how the crocodile looks uh, it looks nice it looks very nice the eyes uh are very bright which i think gives that scary factor and i tried messing around with i tried messing around with the crocodiles in creative mode in in another world these guys kill everything like not even kidding they just kill everything so yeah that's insane so let's get some sand and let's get the basic materials which we used to make the water area so i'll be making the water area over here so these guys can you know swim and chill out and stuff on the other half is going to be the grassy land area uh fun fact i don't have any idea how a crocodile enclosure looks because the one which i go to is just it's just land and some water so i'll try to replicate that uh before i actually mess up anything give me a second i really want this to be like a proper looking enclosure uh so this is two blocks huh so let's go over here let's leave two blocks uh let's do this i have very bad memory so let's go over here break this uh, oh let's climb back up 1 2 3 and do that uh, so i'm trying to like make an equal like uh, ha half pond or something like that you can call it i don't know the names i don't know the names uh so let's just just start building this and maybe we could add like two blocks like so and let's add two blocks like so i'm just like sketching out the uh pond area and i think this is more than enough for 
for I think for who is driving the bike so 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 loudly my god okay so I think this is more than big enough for like four crocodiles so that's nice I think we leave this guy alive you know it's fine okay let's get to the fun part which is breaking stuff um so if you don't know in pocket edition or on the android or ios version you can hold and do this this is so so easy and it's such a easy way to just break things uh instead of i don't know um like instead of like just breaking everything one by one i discovered it randomly and i'm so happy i did so let's just break everything and Crocodile, stay away. I'm trying to build your enclosure. I do want to end up just naming all the animals in the zoo so we could, you know, make the zoo more zooish, I guess you can call it. I'm pretty sure animals in the zoo have names. Uh, at least I hope so. Okay, the crocodile. Okay, this crocodile likes disturbing me, which is horrible. And yes, uh, I'm recording this on 1st January 2020, which is brand new year so for everyone who's watching happy new year i know it's 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 kind of it's it's kind of late that i'm wishing you all but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed uh new year and stuff so let's break this boom i want to do something different for the other crocodile and i want to maybe possibly like make it as close uh i, I want to make it as i want to make the enclosure as closely as i can to their natural habitat uh, so yeah, I'm just go. I'm just building this based on my memory and nothing else. Two hours later. Okay, this took a long time to to just finish. I also had made some mistakes in the enclosure. There were supposed to be stone bricks over here, as you can see, but instead of stone bricks, I had put glass. So I had to replace the glass on top then add stone bricks then i had to come over down over here and add stone bricks as well then i also made like a weird climb thing over here uh i don't know what to call it but yeah the crocodile seems to enjoy it and i thought i'll just go ahead and finish the water area because you guys have seen me do the water stuff and i don't think it's fun just watching it again and again and I thought maybe we should add like smooth sandstone to give it a little bit of um, slopey feel I guess you can call it uh, because you know in 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 real life uh, s slopes are not square <laughs> and I want it and I want it to look a little bit more natural and more better so yeah I think this looks a little bit more better you know and yeah this is this is really nice and i think we can finally start adding some vegetation and stuff like that uh nile crocodiles i guess they're called uh i don't know where do, uh, like i know nile crocodiles are like one of the biggest crocodiles in the world i'm i'm pretty sure if i'm wrong then i will be really really ashamed and i know crocodiles live in like africa and stuff like that where you know there are more animals like zebras and all that kind of stuff and in africa and places like that there's acacia trees so i think acacia tree will fit the theme well so i think we could add one over here nice i don't want too many trees as well uh and i think we could add one over here there we go Maybe at the corners, yeah, those look kind of good. Uh, and hmm, where else should we add? I, I don't want too many trees. Maybe one here and maybe one here. How does that look? Is that, does that look good enough? Uh, I want crocodiles to, I don't know, I don't, do, do crocodiles need shade? Because crocodiles are cold-blooded animals and they need sunlight to keep themselves warm. So I think this many trees are enough. Now I should also work on a way to feed these guys. I thought we could do like a Jurassic Park crane thing. Where the food is like, you know, drop down using a crane and stuff like that. I think that, I think that, that could turn out really, really well. But I'm still uh, just thinking about it. 
on how I would like to do that. I'm not really sure if I really want to add a crane as well, like a like a crane arm that brings in food. Uh, I don't know if that would look good or if that actually is even there in real life. Uh, I'm not going for like 100% accuracy with my zoo and stuff like that. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all about having fun. And you know, uh, if, I, if I'm having fun, then you know, that's fine. If I'm not, that's fine as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna make add some taller uh, grass, tall grass. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that looks good. Uh, I like these tall grass. They have they like more darker color and they uh, have like splitting leaves. I guess you can call it, which looks nice. Uh, break all this. There we go. Boom. No, 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 why do I keep on destroying grass? Or oh, grass block, not grass. Uh, break that, break that. I don't want flowers because they look too vibrant. I think I've said this before. They just look very vibrant. And how does that look? That doesn't look uh, too bad at all. What else could we add? Oh, yes, we could add rocks and stuff. Like we did for the uh, otter enclosure and the... And, um... I forgot the lions yes the lions like something oh my god they all are chilling on the rock what what a, what a time i came in right look at them look at them hanging out on the rock yes you guys you guys enjoy all right you guys enjoy uh where, where's the auto yes the auto here is auto is hot what, what, what? the auto 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 no the auto is here uh i will as i said i will name it at the uh, at the end i just want to finish the crocodile enclosure uh, let's bring in three more crocodiles uh, so let's just jump into the enclosure one two three uh, yeah so we have four crocodiles now which is not bad and one of the crocodiles is instantly going towards the door which isn't good uh, will you guys please go into the water look at the other crocodile they're enjoying so much uh, but yeah, these models are really, really nice and they look really, really good. Just to show you guys that these guys actually kill everything, uh, I will bring in an Asian elephant and I'll just place it here and just look at it. Just, just wait and watch. Yeah, yeah, look at them. Look at them. These guys kill everything. This is kill Asian elephants with like four, four bites. That's insane. So yeah, these guys are really, really dangerous and this isn't good. So <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So what I was doing is I was supposed to add a rock. I, I went off track. I went way too off track. Let's get in some andesite and let's also get some cobblestone. Let's get stone stairs, andesite stairs. I don't think I'll use stairs. Let's get in slabs instead. There we go. Very nice. I think we could add like small. Oh my god. They really like spinning, don't they? Okay, uh, that's that's fine. Uh, yeah, let, it's their enclosure. You know, it's their life. They can they can enjoy. You know, it's fine. Uh, let's do. Let's let's add like this. And I don't want it to be too big because it looks weird. I guess. I don't want crocodiles to be like hiding back of the rock and blocking the view of the visitors and stuff like that. This is this is what I would like to call poor placement of stuff because I have no idea where to place stuff and I'm pretty sure if I was in charge of a zoo in real life, no one would be able to see any animal by the way I place things. So yeah. You know, as always, you guys could give me suggestions and stuff like that and tell me what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right. Uh, I think we could add one over here. Yes, and maybe one over here. Nice. That's 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 a small and good looking rock. Let's do the same thing over here. And I don't know why I moved my head left and right while telling that, but fine. Uh, let's make a bigger one. Not not so big. Uh, maybe like so. Boom. Just just random. Let's make it random. Boom boom. There we go. Okay, nice. Okay, I think this is random enough. You know, if crocodiles would like to be Simba, they can climb up on the rock and roar. No problemo. You know, it's fine. Uh, yeah, okay, that's a, that's a decent sized enough um, rock or a boulder, if 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 I'm not wrong, which I probably am. 
let's do let's add some more over here and yeah okay and should i leave the top flat i think i'll leave the top flat with some slabs and stuff and let's add some andesite into the mixture give it some more texture and that rhymed that was totally not part of my plan but that rhymed you know when things go well when you don't plan them out it's it's awesome let's add some here as well. i don't want too many too much andesite as well uh, just a little bit here and there boom and boom now let's add some cobblestone there we go i should do this all off camera i have no idea why i'm putting all this in the video although i can edit this out i'm not going to uh <laughs> This is so weird. Let's build a zoo series is turning out to be... Um, let's talk about problems. Let's add some slabs here and there. Boom. Maybe some cobblestone slabs so, so they can climb up. Maybe some andesite slabs so the crocodiles could be happy. Let's add some over there. And let's add some over here. Normal slab. Andesite slab. And yeah, that doesn't look so bad. And now... We can add some mud around it. We could add some podzol, chorus dirt, and soul sand. I'm sorry if my head is touching the microphone. It's it's a weird habit I have. Then no, why why did I take ice? No, crocodiles don't like ice. They're gonna die. Let's add. Oh no, first let's add the podzol and stuff. I won't be adding too much of these stuff. Because I don't want this to look all murky and muddy. I wish we could have the option to like add like murky water. Like the, uh, what is it called? What is it called? Swamp water. Like we could like, you know, we could add like swamp water at the edge. Uh, and yeah, and like clear water over here. Ah, that could be awesome. That could, that could have been a really, really cool. Um texture like thing that we could have done but sadly we cannot do that so that's fine you know if one day mojang de does decide to you know add murky water of bucket or bucket of murky water yes that is what i was going for then we could probably add that there we go let's add this uh, at the end of, at the end probably when i if someday i do end up you know finishing this series i will try to like refine stuff and make things look a lot more better and possibly um and possibly add a download link i got a comment which said uh i should do download link when all this is over so i'll probably do that and and give it to you guys you know if you guys would like to continue building you guys can continue building if you guys would like to destroy my builds you can do that as well and now, and I, and now let's add bone meal. I don't know why I thought people would destroy my zoo. I mean, there are people out there who like destroying stuff, so it's fine. Okay, I am at a state where I'm confused, so I should just, just I just, I should just, I should just concentrate on building the zoo, you know. And let's go over here. Let's add some more uh, grass here and there. Boom! There we go break that and break this and break that nice i think this looks good this looks yeah this looks good <laughs> i don't know i feel it's kind of empty underwater over here uh the crocodiles seem to be happy but you know i think i could i think i could possibly maybe add something and make it look better uh but i don't know what maybe we could add some sea grass and stuff no, there are no coral reefs in crocodile enclosures. Uh, let's break that. Maybe let's just let's just add some here and there, uh, just to you know add a little bit of texture and not look empty. Uh, maybe some here. Break that. Now the all now all the crocodiles are dancing. What is happening? What is happening? And yeah, I think this looks okay. Adding grass was a good idea. It kind of looks better now. And the crocodiles seem more happy. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. That's a joke. We still have to name the, the otter. Aha, I didn't forget. I did not forget. I almost forgot, but I did not forget. Uh, I need to look at the comments so I don't mess up the name. Once again, thank you. 
uh, the author girl for the suggestion and for everyone who gave suggestions in the last episode or the episodes before that. I obviously can't uh, do all the suggestions, but you know, if 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 there's a su- suggestion that I really, really 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 like and I would like to do, then I will probably do it. You know, and yeah, once again, thank you for all your suggestions. It keeps me motivated. So M I L E A, there we go. Boom. Uh, who's the lucky one? Who's gonna be named? Who's the lucky one? Uh, okay, this guy seems to be ha- very happy. Come on. No, please. Please stop. You're making it hard. Otter, please. Yes, stop. No, stop running away. You're the chosen one. Haha, he's stuck. And I can't name him. What What kind of plan do you have, Otter? Please wait. Can, can, I, can I not name these guys? <gasps> nope, That's that wasn't the plan, I promise. Can we please name it? Come on. No, I broke it. I broke the sand instead. What kind of a joke is this? Can't I name animals? Or am I doing it the wrong way? Have I forgotten how to name animals? What is happening? What is happening? Okay, you seem like a good person. Can I name you? Can I? No? You can't... You can't name animals in this add-on? Oh god, can I name can I name other animals? No, it looks like I won't be able to name any animals. Ah gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Man, I thought it would be cool if you could name animals. There goes my entire plan of being friendly to animals and giving them some name. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put the name over here. It's it's fine. You know, can I why can't I rewrite this? What what is happening? Oh god, uh, slash game mode S? No, wait, one of the lions are gonna jump out and kill me. Uh, please, can I? No, I can't. Can I break this? Thank you very much. Can I write it now? Yes, I can. Um, I guess we can just, you know, put otter and we can put the name. So, M-I-L-E-A. It's so horrible, I can't use name tag. It just sucks. No, people are just... But people can, like, just read the name and do stuff. But, you know, it would be cool if a specific author could have been named or any animal for for this, for an, for as an example, you know. But that's fine. That's fine, you know. Uh, I, I feel so... I feel, I feel so betrayed, unable to name the animals. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to know the specific one. You know, the small one over here, it's gonna be named Melia, okay? It's gonna be named that, you know, it's easy to know because it's the small one. And I hope, um, he's happy, you know, I think he's happy. Look at him, look at him, he's swimming around, okay? He's swimming around with joy. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this Possibly long episode because I have no idea. I think I've been recording for about an hour or one hour 30 minutes or something like that Uh, But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, If you guys have any suggestions, please leave down in the comment section below I would really really appreciate it and thank you uh, for everyone who left suggestions in the past videos I really appreciate it. But yeah, I'll meet you guys in the next video and until next time Keep working hard, never give up, and goodbye. The truth.